let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you'll see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, pick your second right past Mars. On the magic school bus, navigator nostril, climb on the magic school Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. It's my weekend cafeteria duty, Arnold. One marshmallow or two? Two, please. Liz, marshmallows, please. Oh, careful, Arnold. As my great-grandfather Nicholas used to say, ho, 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 ho. It can hurt a lot when the mug gets hot. I'd go to the ends of the earth for this drink. Hmm, what a provocative idea. <laughs> Not too hot now, just lovely and warm. Hey, Arn. Hi, Arnold. Great hot cocoa today. Wanda, saving a seat does not mean giving it to Harry Arn. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, the beautiful thing about hot cocoa is that it can be enjoyed anywhere. <laughs> Want to sit over there? By that broken window? No way! Burr, it's too cold over there. <laughs> Not when you have hot cocoa. Mm. Oh, at last you're mine! <coughs> It's cold! Where did all the hot go? Oh, I thought he'd never ask. <laughs> uh, you had to ask, didn't you, Arnold? You know I hate the cold. I just wanted to know where the heat in my hot cocoa went. A burning question, Arnold. And what better place to study heat than the land of ice and cold? <laughs> you mean we're in the Arctic? Exactly. The, the Arctic? That's one of the coldest places on the Earth. At my old school, we wore jackets when it was cold. Oh, jackets, of course. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Uh, Ms. Frizzle, aren't these a little thin for the Arctic? Well, let's see what else we have in stock. Wool jackets? Nope. Downfield parkas? On order. Sheepskin flight jackets? Out of stock. <laughs> Ms. Frizzle, look out! Whoopsie! Come on, bus. Do your stuff. The engine's frozen. And the heater's cooling down already. I knew it. We've been frizzled again. I heard that, Tim. And I like it. 
Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Keisha, shut the window. You're letting all the heat out. According to my research, the Arctic temperature can drop to 100 degrees below zero. Arnold, you got us into this. And I'm going to get you out. How? <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't ask me that. Uh-oh. Looks like some of us are losing heat faster than others. That's right. Liz is cold-blooded. She gets most of her heat from outside her body. Look. I think she's trying to point to something. Don't worry, Liz. I'm warm-blooded. My heat is your heat. Maybe she was pointing at this trunk. Hey! Excuse me. All right, ski goggles. Ooh, not quite, Ralphie. These aren't ski goggles. They're heat peepers. Heat peepers? What do they do? Whoa. Is it just me, or did Ms. Frizzle get frizzier? That's not hair, Ralphie. It's some kind of stuff moving away from her body. If that's the case, then moving heat means losing heat. And it's going fast. It's going right out of the bus. And out into the cold. Keisha, oh, please keep the window shut. Now I understand. That's where the heat in my cocoa went. Out the top and through the metal mug. Oh, you got it, Arnold. Heat is always on the move. And it's moving out of our bodies. We need to find a heat source. <sighs> Maybe there's a heater or something in here. Hey, wood. We can make a fire. Oh, way to go, Arnold. When you're hot, you're hot. Ooh, that's much better. Yay! Warm at last. But for how long? As long as the wood holds out. Which won't be much longer. Whenever I've got a tough problem to solve, I break up the old brain cells with a cup of hot lemon water tea. Hmm. That gives me an idea. What about breaking up the wooden trunk in the bus and using it for more firewood? Hot idea! Let's stoke the oak! Stand back! Hot water bottles! Wait a minute! Hey, you guys! Anybody want a heat source? Dynamic deduction, Carlos! Hold them open! Whoa! Look at all that heat going into the hot water bottle! Hey, I can feel the heat moving into my body. Hmm. If we can move the heat from the fire into the hot water bottles... What if we move the hot water bottles onto the bus engine? The heat will move from the bottles onto the engine, and it'll start... Vroom! And once it starts... We're out of here! Yikes! got stranded on ice flows. First we lost our heat, now we're losing our best friends. And the bus. Whoops. And I almost lost my hot water bottle. Make that cold water bottle, the heat's gone. If we don't stay warm, we'll never save the bus or us. Never say never, Arnold. Remember, every cloud has a silver lining. I don't know about clouds, Miss Frizzle, but maybe if these jackets had some kind of lining, the heat wouldn't move out so fast. I think you're on to something, DA. Can I borrow your book? Uh, sure. Arnold, what are you doing? My book! Sorry, Dorothy Ann. Desperate times call for desperate measures.
Since the heat moves so easily through these jackets, maybe we can slow it down by putting something in the way. Hey, it's working! Ah, the inspiration of insulation. We're gonna be permanent ice cubes. I just know it, Phoebe. What are they doing? Are they trying to save us? Actually, they're stuffing paper into their jackets. They're doing what? Wow, it looks like the paper's keeping them warmer. He's not losing heat as fast as Wanda. Too bad we don't have anything to stuff into our jackets. What is it, Liz? The repair manual. Maybe it'll tell us how to unfreeze the bus, turn it into a helicopter, and get us out of here. Can I see it? Sure. <gasps> have you lost it? Our very survival depends on what's in this book. You're right. I'm feeling warmer already. The paper's keeping my heat in. Ralphie! Keep cool, Ralphie! We'll save you! Keep cool? That's not the problem. Well, we've slowed down the movement of heat by putting something in the way to block it. Any chance we could find something warmer than these paper heat blockers, Miss Frizzle? What if I told you that there was a fur coat and a heat source due north? I'd say, let me at it! Last one of the heat sources of frozen egg. But I should warn you. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Oh, warm, warm, warm. Phew! As Ralphie would say, is it just me, or does this heat source smell like a dead fish? Who cares? If we don't keep warm and save the bus, Ralphie may never say anything again. Smells like a dead fish. Feels like a hot breeze. <sighs> Looks like, yikes, a polar bear! Yoo-hoo, class! Now you see us, now you don't. Where are we? How are we gonna save the bus now? I know. Well, I don't know exactly. I'm working on it. <sighs> Wherever we are, it sure is hot. Can we get this heat source to the bus? It certainly bears thinking about. Then I better find out where the bus is. Wait for me. I don't get it. We're in the middle of the Arctic. How did it get to be so steamy? Well, let's check it out. The heat's coming out of the ground. And it's still warm up here. You're right. It looks like the heat from the ground gets trapped by these weird plants. What kind of plants are these anyway? Hey guys, over here! I can see it! I can see the bus! He shall be careful. The heat's escaping through the hole in the roof. <gasps> this isn't a roof! It's polar bear fur! Does the bear's hair work just like the paper we stuffed in our jackets? To keep the heat in? As my niece Moon Valley always says, oh, like, for sure, for sure. Miss Frizzle! Wow! I get it. It's the tangled hair that insulates the bear. Excellent observation, Carlos. Swell, but how do we get out of here? Hoochie coochie coo! Yay! This way, class. Where are they now, Phoebe? I don't know, Ralphie. I can't see them anywhere. What was that? It seems like the ice floe we're on is shrinking. Shrinking? As in getting smaller? 
As in breaking apart? That just about covers it, Ralphie. We've been blown closer to the bus. Oh no! The ice floe's breaking apart! Help! Ralphie! Baby! We're goners. I know it. No more bad jokes from Carlos. No more field trips. No more frizz. Snap out of it, Ralphie. According to this page, there should be some blankets right up here. Ew, gross. What kind of blanket is this? Looks like a fat blanket. Hey, it may be gross, but that fat can sure trap heat. Oh, we're done for. <laughs> Scram! Beat it! Don't mean to be rude, but you're too heavy! Wait a second. How do walruses swim in that freezing water? I don't know. Look, there's hardly any heat coming off their bodies. I bet all that blubber just traps their heat. Just like the fat did on your hand. I got it! If it's good enough for a walrus, it's good enough for us. Hurry up, Ralphie. I'm telling you, it'll work. There they are. Hey, guys. Oh, no. They've lost so much heat, they've turned yellow. Come on, Arnold. You turn blue from the cold, not yellow. Believe me, I know. Hey, come, come on, on over. over. We, we figured, figured out, out how to keep the heat. heat. Yeah! Hang on, Phoebe! We've got to save them! I know. We'll jump in the water and swim across. According to my research, you won't last more than three minutes in water this cold. Okay, then... maybe not. Never fear, Arnold. Where there's a Liz, there's a way. Hit it, Liz! Ew! We've, we've been, been fine! Actually, we've been blubberized. Good work, Liz! Ooh, now that we're messy, it's time to make mistakes, take chances, and get wet! No way am I getting in that water. It's too cold, and you know how I hate the cold. Don't worry, Wanda. This blubber stuff really works. Keeps the water out and the heat in. If I can do it, so can you. Arnold's right. Since when have I been such a Weasley wimp? Hey, I'm actually feeling warm. <laughs> this is great. Oh, Phoebe, I'm so glad you're safe. Whoops. Who's safe? We've got to get the bus started before it ends up in the water. Too bad the bus isn't as hot as I am now. Phew. Yes! I've got a plan. I knew you would eventually. And one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, one, two. The heat escaping from our bodies should melt the fat and warm up the bus enough so it can start. But wait! We're losing the heat through the metal of the bus. Now what do we do? If only the bus could turn itself into a polar bear with all that thick fur. That's it. To warm up the bus, 
We've got to trap the heat we're making so it can't get out. How? Um, give me a minute. Uh, it'll come to me. So that's where you stash the igloo building equipment. Igloo? Igloo. <gasps> igloo! Good thinking, Arn. Thanks. Come on, you guys. Keep those snow blocks coming. I had no idea snow was such a good heat trapper. You'd think it would be too cold. Ah, oh, yes, but see how light and fluffy it is? That's because it's filled with tiny little air pockets which block the heat. Like the tangled hair that insulated the bear. That's fair. One and two and one and two. Come on, guys, don't quit now. No churn, no burn. No heat, no. Hey, it's working. The igloo's keeping our body heat from escaping. The bus is warming up. Ah, the inspiration of insulation. Excellent work, class. Whoa, and just in time. All aboard! Let her rip, Miss Grizzle! One steaming hot cup of cocoa. You earned it, Arnold. Thanks, Miss Frizzle. And this time, it's going to stay hot. Mm -mm -mm. Excellent innovation, Arnold. Thank you. Not again. My, my, what a splendid cocoa cozy. A quilted jacket to hold in the heat with a double-layered zippered lid. Oh, yes, the inspiration of insulation. How did you know? I was in Miss Frizzle's class last year. Have a seat, Arnold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic school bus. 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 I want the magic school bus. I want the magic school bus. Magic school bus. Producer speaking. Yeah, I was just watching that Arctic show, and I was wondering where I could pick up a pair of those hot-looking heat peepers. Well, actually, you can't. They don't really exist. I just wanted to hear you admit it. <laughs> but there are goggles that let you see what's hot and cold. I know. Infrared goggles, right? Right. They let you see how heat moves, although heat peepers are cooler. You know, we didn't have to go all the way to the Arctic to learn that some things let heat pass through them and others stop it from escaping. You're talking about the inspiration of insulation. Exactamundo. Like what they put in walls or sleeping bags. It's the little tiny air pockets and insulation that block the heat and keep it from moving outside. Liz, keep that closed. I also know that people don't get blubberized to stay warm in cold water. They use wetsuits. Which contain millions of tiny air pockets that trap your body heat and keep you warm in the water. So why didn't you just give the kids wetsuits? And miss the chance of blubberizing them? <laughs> no way! All right, all right. I admit it was fun to see them slime with fat. But tell me this. Instead of having Arnold make a cocoa cozy, why didn't he just go out and buy a thermos? If we did that, you wouldn't get to call up and bug us about it. <laughs> now, you probably already know this, but a thermos is a bottle with a special hollow outside wall that blocks the flow of heat. One other thing. Taking a lizard to the Arctic would be really foolish. I mean, any reptile would have gone torpid and frozen to that faster than you could say permanent hibernation. We thought about that, but then our Liz is a special kind of lizard. Uh-oh, gotta go. Okay, Liz, I, I know it wasn't your favorite field trip, but is it just me or is that? <laughs> The blubberizer. 
No, Liz. Not the audience. <laughs> Sorry. Surfing on a sound wave, swinging through the stars. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic scuba. Navigator nostril. I'm a magic scuba. Make a plane turn to. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie. On a magic scuba. Step inside this old 